presidential election days from now, the son of the Shah, who was overthrown in the Islamic Revolution nearly 40 years ago, is speaking out now exclusively to Fox News. He's calling on Iranians to organize from within and stand up to the existing regime. Senior correspondent Eric Sean live in our New York City newsroom with that. Eric. Hello, John. Well, a call for freedom in Iran. You know, at the presidential elections there in four days, one prominent Iranian says the regime should be overthrown. That plea comes from Prince Reza Pahlavi, who heads the National Council for Free Elections in Iran. In our exclusive interview, he says the Iranian people should take to the streets and stage actions of nonviolent civil disobedience, the goal, he says, to establish a parliamentary democracy based on democratic values, freedom, and human rights. Pahlavi is the oldest son of the Shah of Iran, the monarch who was driven out by the Islamic Revolution back in 1979. He says the same forces that led to the collapse of the Soviet Union, the fall of the Berlin Wall, and the end of apartheid in South Africa can overturn the Tehran regime if American pressure works. The more they hear about what the Iranian people demand, not what the regime wants, what the Iranian people demand, they will in turn tell their would-be congressmen or senator decision makers, what are you waiting for? These people are like us. They don't want to come here and destroy us or blow us to pieces or wipe a country from the map. They want to be like us. Well, he also says more should have been done during the so-called Green Revolution in 2009 when Iranians took to the streets demanding free and fair elections. He says the same can happen now. Do you feel in your heart that one day this regime will fall? Absolutely. There's no question about it. It's all tied to the existing of this corrupt, backward, obscurantist regime that only thinks about its own survival to the detriment of 80 million plus people who are asking the world, we deserve better. Well, some fault the Shah's regime and U.S. policy at the time for setting the stage that enabled the Iranian revolution to succeed. But Pahlavi says the result is now a regime that he thinks needs to be toppled. Mm. Fascinating interview.